Matt, did you ever feel like you guys got in a real good offensive rhythm tonight, or was it kind of hit or miss? No, we did. Uh, we, we were in a rhythm, and for whatever reason, we got out of it, then we went back in it, and then we went out of it. It wasn't consistent, and um, you know that's what we needed tonight was four quarters of, of solid football, and it seems like only the the first the first quarter and the start of the second half, the third quarter, where we were rocking, and you could tell the stadium was in it, and we were rolling with the turnover ratio. Um, and then finishing, I think, was, was what we didn't do in, in the end of the first half and the end of the second half. And uh, you can't win when, when you don't do that. What happened on the play where it looked like you were still calling the audible and Chris snapped the ball and it hit you in the gut? There's mis miscommunication, and uh, um, it happens. And it's just unfortunate it happened at that time. What were you thinking when you guys, you know, you got the early turnover there in the second half, you scored, you got the ball back, you took the lead? Did you feel like things had swung around? <laughs> that yeah, definitely. We felt momentum. You, you could feel it on our sideline, and and I believe we had it, and uh, we didn't capitalize on those though. We didn't, uh, we didn't score off of those. I'm not sure if we scored on off of those turnovers, but when it mattered, we, we we didn't score, and and we had chances. And uh, but I mean, Oregon played a great game. They're they're good defense, and and their offense. It's speaks for itself, but um, uh, they, they played well. They made plays when they had to, and, and, and we didn't make plays. There were a couple of times where, where Oregon was able to get to you and sack you, but overall it seemed like you know, your, your, your coverage was, was pretty solid by the offensive line. Was the secondary just playing a really solid game from Oregon? Yeah, I mean, overall they, they were pressuring, and they, and they were getting, uh, they were doing a lot of stunts, it seemed like, up front and uh, doing a lot of crazy things, but uh, their secondary did play well. They, they kind of guys covered for the most part. I had to throw a lot of balls away, and uh, but yeah, they, they played well as a whole. You guys use the term that this is sort of your bowl game. How do you let this not sort of bring your season down? Just go back to work like we did after Stanford, and uh, just hit, hit, just study the state, and, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna suck to watch it because we did have opportunities to score. And, uh, just go back to work and, and realize that we can bounce back after this and. And uh, be was it Arizona State? Yeah, beat Arizona State. What type of game is someone going to have to play to beat? To beat Arizona State. For me to beat Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, near fall is, and uh, that was what we had anticipated coming into this, and we didn't do that, and uh, on, on both sides of the ball. And so, uh, yeah, they're they're a very good team. I mean, you hit the ball, you know, dominant time of possession, and you, your offense hits it that much. Does it almost become like a mental fatigue out there too, to go along with the physical part of it? No, not, well, not for me, at least. Uh, I don't, I don't really know about the rest of our team. I don't think so. It, it uh, mentally, we're, I think we're all mentally strong, and, and that wasn't the case out there. Like we were, we were making all these mental <laughs> errors, and uh, the effort was definitely there. It was, it was just, you know, model we model, they, they made better plays than we did. Hey Matt, you've played some good teams the past two years, but can you talk about the inability to protect the home field? You've, you've, you've lost twice this year at home, two times last year towards the end. Um, just uh, why that's happening, and I mean, how key is that, obviously, to bring that pack to this team? Well, home, there is there is an advantage at home, but ultimately, they're not going to win the game for us, and it's, it's us who's playing, and it's us who's making the plays, and if we're not making plays like we didn't do tonight, and we didn't do uh, versus Washington. Uh, it doesn't matter if we're home or away. We're, we're not going to win, and so it's more it's more it's more that rather than home field advantage. I think it's just making plays, and that didn't happen. Does it feel less heartbreaking to not lose on the last play of the game like you did previous two games? No, it's, it's a loss is is heartbreaking either way. And, uh, I don't know if you want to say heartbreaking, but it's it's just disappointing. It's it's not a good feeling. Uh, Regardless of when it happens, it's, you have that W or you have that, that L in the column, and uh, it's, it's just sucks. On the, uh, on the first interception, the one down the, the left sideline, did, did you just wait a good second too long to throw it? Did you get far I saw him open late and uh, thought we had a shot, saw a window, and uh, under threw it a little bit, and uh, yeah, we again another case where we, where we didn't make a play in the game. And the one to, to Robert over the middle, did you feel like he was interfered with, but the guy cut him off? Uh, you could argue that, but I don't know. I'm not going to say that. It's, um, I don't know. Anything else for Matt? Thank you.